What's up everybody, it's Roger and Victoria here from the This Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be looking at some of the announcements from the D23 Expo that don't relate to the US. Um, for, uh, sort of finish off the week and kind of look at the ones that affect everybody else, including um, announcements for Toy Story Land for um, Shanghai, and also, more importantly, for Disneyland Paris, because it was announced that um, the New York Hotel is going to be giving a Marvel theme. Which is great. Personally, for me, this is great. This is what's busy. There wasn't really a lot of Disneyland Paris news. Um, they definitely... They did, I don't even remember Hong Kong being mentioned. Um, I It was mentioned very, very briefly. Yeah. But nothing like concrete. I mean, they were kind of given... I know they gave everyone a, a pin from everywhere else, from other locations and stuff. It... It felt very much along the lines of they were like, right, we're in America, we are presenting to Americans, um, we can see, it just felt a little bit like, are these other parks you don't lot, you lot aren't interested in, so we're not going to tell you about them. Um, I, yeah, because Disney kind of getting full control of Disneyland Paris, I would have expected maybe a little bit more of a, a mention of that. But the Marvel Hotel is great. I think that's going to be good. It's odd because they literally feel like they've just done up the um, the New York, or they're in the middle of doing it. So, But the biggest problem with the themed hotels in Paris is that none of them are really themed with Disney at all. There's no interconnect into things. So, because the idea was that there was, um, they had to pay licensing to, to Disney for it. Now that's all gone, they can do all this. And maybe they're just, maybe they're thinking, well, let's trial it in Paris and see how it goes. Um, me personally, I thought it was a great idea when they, when Chipette first announced it, I thought it was going to be just, you know, like an Iron Man kind of hotel, and I'm like, oh, not everyone's going to go for that, but when they said it was Art of Marvel, I'm like, okay, I like this idea, it's different, it's integrating, you know, Marvel slowly into the parks, more of the resorts, I should say. Mm. And also the trouble as well, you know, the issues, you know, they couldn't do it in Disney World yet. Right. And Disneyland, it's a space, and I just can't, I'm just wondering if this is like a, a little bit of an experiment, see how it works, the slow integration of the characters in there. Um, It just, it, def, it definitely was a kind of, definitely like, oh, I like that, I, I like that idea. And like I said, I was maybe hoping for a little bit more from the Paris point of view. Oh, absolutely, especially since they just, you know, got ownership completely of the part, I was expecting a little bit more detail as far as, you know, planning or concept at least. But I mean, I can I'll take what I can get. This yeah. is, I would definitely stay here for sure. It was definitely gonna bring in people. Yeah. I was I was actually talking to my um future brother in law today. I said I said, Oh I said, Yeah, yeah. I said if we're going to F I said the trouble is staying on those site rooms are so expensive. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. and it's a thing of you know you can stay down the road for a quarter of the price. There's always that kind of mix up. Um, Disney also announced that they're adding a seventh um, ship to their Disney Cruise Line. So um, that they've got two new ships. Uh, last year they announced they had two new ships. Um, so that one's not coming out till 2022. Um, they've also got another one coming out 2021 and 2023. So they're literally going to have three years of brand new ships coming out and kind of they're going to be big. They're going to be big basically they want to double the size of their existing fleet oh absolutely yeah it's going to be a little slightly larger than the fantasy and the dream apparently from what i read if i remember that correctly mm. um i mean i've never been on a cruise with them so that would be a good time to start i guess <laughs> yeah i mean I, it's one of those things of um i've never done a secret i've done a river cruise but that's about it um you know whenever you look at it i know my parents have them but the <laughs> I'll be honest, from like a point of view from over here, they don't get publicized a lot. Um, this it's all different companies for ones that we can get on a bit. The Disney the Disney ones don't really get promoted as options as too much at all, and and also maybe more importantly, you don't see them. I think people have got this preconceived notion that they're families and kids and stuff. However. I have seen the Disney Cruise Line um, ship while I've been out, um, and that you know, it, it'll, even the, even when no matter where it's like, oh, there it is, it's, you know, it does have an impact. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was definitely an odd one for the international. It definitely felt like, like I said, it felt a little bit like, okay, you you you've not really putting any in, interest into what's going on out there because you're. It's almost like thing. It's not the right audience. It's not the right time. And so that was, that's kind of just how it kind of felt. It felt a little bit like, 
yeah, they're not they're not interested in 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 outside of America for this um, for this event. Oh yeah, it was very obvious. It was like I was kind of surprised that they focused more so on the cruise line because I was <laughs> they brought out the performers for the new show coming out onto one of the ships, and I'm like, um, okay, well, we already knew about this. We don't need any more information about this. I was more interested in, like, what's going to happen with Shanghai, or yeah. or especially Paris, and really didn't get anything. No, and, I mean, it was, I mean, the, whole, the show as a whole was, I felt it came away with very much kind of like, this is, it was about Disney World. Is This is where you, like, you feel like if they alternated between the two locations, this would have been a good event for for florida because it really was like okay here we go um it would probably would have gone an epic um actually after people there if they had been there. it's just that odd thing of like the money doing it in la and you know it's who the type you've got a room full of people that might not sort of know about or might not even go about what disney world yeah that's true that's very true um the only thing i can think of is maybe they are working on concept right now and they just they aren't ready to share, no. which I could understand, yeah. which I could completely understand. Yeah. But now, as a whole, like I said, it was um, a little bit lighter on the international stuff than I was hoping for. But that Marvel that Marvel Hotel kind of really was just like, oh, there's something for this, for Paris. I was like, okay, that really came at left field. Wouldn't, wasn't expecting that news at all. And that was one of the few surprises of the D23 Expo uh, Parks and, uh, show. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone was expecting that. I've seen mixed reviews on Twitter yesterday, of course. That was to be expected. But mm. me personally, I plan on going back to Paris. I would definitely stay there if I'm not completely broke. But... No, yeah, it's in, yeah, it's in the next time I go, I'm more likely... No, I, as I walk past it to walk down to the, the entrance to that, the Disney Village, you just walk in and have a look around and take some photographs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's more my speed. Yeah, I think that's what I'll be doing next time as I'm usually staying up at like the Shein at the top end. But no, it looks pretty good. Um, like I said, so we'd love to know your thoughts on the international side of the D23 Expo and um, from the park side of things. Um, next week we will be going a little bit deeper into the an um, the animation panels and the live action and some of the bits and pieces. We decided there was so much content this week that we decided to sort of push all that back to next week because... And get hopefully then we can see some of the trailers like event um so hopefully by then this one's come out anyway guys thank you very much for watching uh where can they find you victoria they can find me on twitter and he calls me pp and instagram he calls me pineapple princess and on that note guys thank you very much for watching hit that subscribe button check us out over at thiskingdom.com and we shall see you guys soon laters bye